Our next character is the adorable Barbara. Start with a circle and some very, very narrow shoulders. Give her a small body because she's a kid. Put in the ears and for her fringe just draw a thin line with a little zigzag going through it. Give her some tiny closed eyes and a button nose. All right, she's got some very small features going on, so let's fill in the gap with a big mouth and a big tongue too. All righty, let's give her some pigtails. So put in the hair ties and just a few wavy lines for her hair. An S in each ear and give her some big teeth. Time for her clothes. Give her some, what are these called? Dungarees. Give her some dungarees. It's a weird word. I don't hear it these days. Mainly because people don't really wear dungarees. Shade in her hair with some straight lines. Now add some detail to her pigtails, just with some more curvy lines. Let's go inside the mouth now and shade in the tongue. And for the rest of her mouth, color it all in black. And now give her some little freckles. Let's move down to the clothes now. And shade in her straps. And put a little pocket at the front. And then shade in the rest. And you're probably wondering why I called her Barbara. Well, that's simple. I know a lot of kids. Not one kid's called Barbara. We need more Barbaras, all right? So <laughs> let me know. Let me know if you called your kid Barbara. But don't, don't call your kid Barbara because of me, all right? You have to want to call her Barbara. Give her some lips. And now some zigzags in her hair, which is a lot of fun to do. Now add some detail to the pocket. and some zigzags going through her hair. Finally, just draw a few stray hairs coming out of her head. And now let's put in the background. Let's do a few more shadows under her buttons and on her ears. And maybe she's lost a tooth, so let's, uh, let's knock out one of her teeth in the most humane way possible, of course. And we have just drawn Barbara. I'll see you in the next video.